Welcome to Storybound, where we are diving into the world of Stephen King's mind, The Dark Tower. This is going to be a year-long read-along, with some of the additional supporting books here on the channel. Here is a look at the schedule, and if you'd like to take part, I'll be linking the Discord, hosted by Max Reads and Coffee Over Apples, below. I started the Dark Tower series over a decade ago, reading my way up to Wizard in Class, and then I just kind of stopped reading. So now, last year I read roughly 40 books, I figured it was time to dive back into the series I had loved every moment of by starting back at the beginning with The Gunslinger. The Gunslinger is an interesting book because it's early on in Stephen King's career and it's not a genre he's particularly known for. We are thrust into a world that's part western, part sci-fi, and filled with magic and horror. This book and series is loaded with the dark and grim fantasies we have learned to expect from Stephen King. However, but you can see his writing in what many consider to be a fairly crude form. We're introduced to Roland, the last of the gunslingers, making a pilgrimage to the Dark Tower and to stop or kill the Man in Black. Roland is the last in an order, much like the Knights of the Round, his pistols at his side, ready to defend the righteous. We join him on his travels, and his path seems to have been going for quite some time. We slowly start to learn tiny pieces of his backstory, about his training, and how demons plagued his past, both literally and metaphorically. During this pilgrimage, he takes a short stop in Tull, distracted and alerted by the town and a woman he learns to love. We quickly begin to understand Roland himself may be cursed and on a cursed journey, and things quickly turn south for him and his plight, his failures, and the pain don't stop there. This book is littered with crude scenes that depict terrible acts, a man's obsession and addiction to an idea seated deep within his mind, and what he will have to sacrifice to achieve it. It's towards the end of this book, things really start to open up and suck you into this world. The expansion of the universe, a reading of the cards, and a fateful meeting bordering the edge of time and space. We get a small glimpse, once again, into the possibilities this journey will take us on. This book could be considered Stephen King's magnum opus. It's a sprawling series of books that extends its tendrils into the sprawling world Stephen King has written, from Insomnia to It to The Stand. Everything has its place and follows the beams. As we read, we walk the thinnies that lead us to the Dark Tower. If you like Stephen King and looking for a series that's part western, part time heist, part horror, and everything in between, this is easily something you should at least give a shot. I'll be posting reviews over the next few months as I make my way through this catalog with some extra reads that have been tagged on to support the story. I may even do a general thoughts and spoilers chat midway through the year. Either way, I love The Gunslinger. I highly recommend picking it up. It's just the right amount of sad, exciting, and intriguing to set me off on the journey to the Dark Tower once again. If you want to join us on the read along, check out the links below. Thanks again for watching, and as always, have a good one.